in the childhood, I, I was experiencing just childhood nightmares uh, when sleeping. Mm -hmm. The kind of substance was, um, uh, was appearing in the space around me, and it was really horrifying. I must have been, you know, probably like seven, eight years old. And uh, it was a very strong experience. The, the horror, the horror of, of these nightmares was really something special. I woke up as a child, you know, crying or, you know, frightened. And it was so strong that when it appeared next time, I rationalized this. Uh, I, bef even before I woke up, I explained to myself, don't worry, don't worry, this is only nightmare. And I tried to, you know, to deal with this monster, the, with, this, with this kind of bad spirit or something like this. And I, for instance, I made a step towards it to just to, uh, to, to, uh, to fight it, you understand? To, yeah. to disclose the, the nature of, of, of this monster. And it was even, uh, it, 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 uh, I got frightened even more. So it was a kind of childish nightmare. Nightmare. Then you know, it was not repeating in exactly the same thing later in the in the life. But for instance, when I got scared solo climbing, okay. I felt a sort of uh, uh, weakness, weakness uh, coming from the from being frightened from from my fear, which. Um, uh, which confused my mind. And it was something similar to the childish night nightmare. Okay. Yeah, and uh, actually I developed an ambition within me. I have to achieve the absolute peace when, I, when I'm swallowing the rock. Mm. It was a real ch 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 challenge. The hardest one uh, which I made, this Chinese Maharaja, it was something like 8A, I was preparing mentally for the long time. The ambition was to do this with absolute peace, without a, without a shade of, of, of fear. That was the ambition. I climbed it, but in the aspect I'm talking about, uh, I was defeated because it was still, I was, I, I didn't manage to, uh, to keep absolutely uh, Away. The, the peace within me, and uh, mm, I was on the verge of giving up, and I was really scared. No, no, no way. The ambition was: I will do this exactly in the same as I and I have as I take coffee in the uh, in the winter garden uh, in my home, without a slightest uh, trace of fear. That was the ambition, mm, and I failed. But I did the climb, and the story is about uh, okay. the struggle. How to, um, how to keep, some, uh, how, how to preserve uh, my own peace on climbing. The vanity existed 2,000 years before it exists uh, today. I sense it in myself. So, uh, so the vanity is here. The, com the, comp the competition was, was there 2,000, 3,000 always. There it will be. It will be now. The the, the chase for the sponsorship will be will be here always. So the mountains, unfortunately, will be always a part of kind of business, and uh, a, um, it will be a part of uh, uh, image games. Yes, and I don't think you will persuade the world not to take part in image games and uh, uh, competition and uh, and. Um, and chasing, chasing the sponsors. So I think it is hopeless, uh, hopeless job. You know, we are, we are, we are prob probably sentenced. If, if we want, if we, we are sentenced in our uh, pure climbing, probably for the much narrower society. I call it society of true believers. The people who seek the real experience on the mountains, which brings into your life something valuable. You understand? Yeah. Well, climbing for me doesn't, doesn't make a sense as when, when I'm not coming down from the from the wall 
and I don't feel some uh, encouragement, some some power, and I don't feel a good relation with the with with, with the surrounding world. When I achieve this through the climbing, climbing makes a sense. If I don't achieve this, then okay, it might be just a case of business. Yeah, somebody somebody makes some program for 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 the high altitude or whatever for the Alps, gets the money. You, you can't fight it, fight it probably. So we will we, we, we'll be existing in two parallel channels, believers and, uh, I don't know, collectors or whatever. So as I told you, um, uh, hard challenge, hardcore challenge is no more the part of me. Of course, I do rock climbing. Of course, I have a, big, a lot of connection with the nature. Sometimes I, I go to for Tatra climbing. I'm also a very busy man, you know, in other spheres. Sometimes I try to write something. Uh, you know, my company is uh, uh, taking a lot of my time and uh, energy, and it is, uh, it is engaging me a lot. So, at, at this stage of my life, you, you can say I am a pretty banal person. Just, uh, just living pretty regular <coughs> life. Um, well, the only, well, the, what is maybe difference is that I have huge satisfaction from my, from my life. Not because of the past, but because of the current why. I sincerely participate in my life. Every moment of the life is is, is precious for me. So, just being with nature, you know, doing some moderate climbing is enough for me. Yes, I had very special moments on, <coughs> on the mountains in certain situations. And um, uh, right now, I think. My, re my relations with uh, nature can be reduced and I accept it with, uh, to, uh, to, the, to the love of weeds and uh, flowers and, and the forest. And I just, uh, I just find this something absolutely brilliant in my life. And it, was, it woke up through climbing and through brilliant places on the mountains, yes, it, it was a process of waking up uh, in sensing the spiritual quality mm -hmm. um, in my life. It, it was, I, it woke up through, through the connection with the mountains. So it could have been something else. Yeah, and and I think it is, it is in a way with me. Don't consider me, you know, enlightened person, nothing like this. No, no, I would hate to, um, I just enjoy it, you know. It is, it is very simple. But surely the situation which I experienced on the high mountain, like watching Trango Tower in morning hours, or uh, spending the evening on the call between broad peaks, when the space was just something alive, and uh, there was a very strong desire to be a part of this, of, of this alive substance around me. Probably a lot of tourists experienced this. Uh, a lot of climbers, I think. Few times we talk about it, but <laughs> maybe we should talk about it. It's 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 very special. Once it woke up within me, yes, I have it with me. It is much easier to experience this in the in the uh, in the regular life. For for you now. Yes. 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 Uh, could you explain us the best memory you had with uh, Loretan and Jean Troyer, and maybe the hard things spirit you had together? The best memory. Yeah, can you tell some word about them? Yeah. Yeah. Or some word about them and you? Yeah, yeah. I have them, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard was absolutely special figure in my life. But he's no more alive. You know, <clears throat> on Choi and Shishopak, I had hard relations with Gerard. There was a huge tension between us. Though, on, on, on the previous expedition, you are really 
strongly committed to each other and real true friends. For some strange reason, on Choyu and Shisha Parma, for some strange reason, a huge tension appeared between us. And it lasted actually till the end of the expedition. And uh, at the end of the expedition, when we are parting already in Kathmandu, uh, the expedition was successful. I just told to them uh, some farewell, farewell words expressing that this expedition was really hard for me. Guys, you were really terrible. But I'm absolutely enthralled and uh, I'm absolutely proud to be with you. And this is very, very ex important life experience. I'm really happy to do whatever we, we did. And then I, I trace something like a tears in their eyes. Not, not tears, but something like a, a strong emotion, strong emotion. That was one of the most beautiful and uh, <clears throat> moments uh, in my climbing with them. After hard expedition, after a lot of tension, you feel that there is something absolutely special. Of course, there was absolutely special soon after the expedition. You know, we confessed to each other, guys, guy, I'm, I'm going to follow you anywhere. And uh, of course, it was confirmed. 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 Confirm